We have two low pressure systems to monitor to our north. Hello, I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks for joining us. We're tracking two lows and neither of them have really formed yet. There is one that's up near the Solomon Islands and Coral Sea area that will become a cyclone by this Friday, very likely. And the other low hasn't formed yet and will form on our front doorstep this weekend. But with this large high rolling in, the one that forms this weekend 50-50 as to whether or not it's actually going to bring any rain or not. It's sort of dancing around the north. And again, next week when the X cyclone comes down our way, there will be another high coming through. And both of them sort of a race to see who gets here first. Whoever gets here first wins. If the high rolls in first, the lows stay offshore. If the lows come in first, we get rain. So it's kind of a simple equation, but it's still a little complicated. So let me explain it. Uh, at the moment, Wednesday, short term, we've got a cooler change spreading across the country. Most places tonight will be colder than average. Many of you will be talking about the fact summer's over, but we've still got warmer weather coming back. It's just a temporary blip. So cold southerlies coming through, but when that high starts to roll through, the daytime temperatures will start to bounce back. And in fact, as early as Thursday around the South Island, after a cold start. So you've got a cold night tonight. Uh, there might even be a little bit of ice on some of the vehicles when you wake up in the morning around inland areas of Southland or Otago. Very borderline. It's not exactly that cold, but it's cold enough to just start to get a little bit of ice forming inland. In the north, uh, a bit of a southeast change means another burst of showers coming through. Some areas like Auckland's had uh, three days of showers now. So the ground is wet and that means the grass is growing again, at least in the city. So around us in the uh, Northland and Waikato regions, that's where we want to see a bit more rain falling. Hopefully we'll get a little bit, but um, not really a huge amount on Thursday, just more showers. And on Friday, uh, most places are dry. There might be a lingering shower in Northland, which will be welcome, but it won't be much, sadly. And to the north, there is that developing low. At the same time, there's the high that pushes back. So the forecast as we head into the weekend do get a little bit complicated. So this is uh, how it looks for Saturday at this stage. You can see that low offshore, very close to us, but not really delivering any rain. Now that's different to a day or so ago when the modeling was showing it right over the top of New Zealand. So most of the country does look dry at this stage on Saturday, a few showers in the very southwest and maybe up here around East Cape based on the current modeling. When we get to Sunday, it shows that low even further out to sea. Now just a day or so ago, it was showing it right over us. So how do we make sense of this? Well, we start looking at other models. So this is the GFS models from America. So when we switch on the European models, again for Sunday, you can see they are picking the low to be much closer. Although when you take a good close look, the western side of the North Island, Taranaki, Auckland, Northland, they all look dry with that southeaster blowing through. Most of the rain falling around East Cape, Hawke's Bay, Bay of Plenty, and maybe a couple of uh, showers coming into northern parts of Canterbury and also Kaikoura. So it's an interesting forecast and the modeling isn't sure yet. So when it's like that, go to the Weather Watch website and just look at our 10 day forecast because IBM supercomputer Watson takes all of that confusing data and crunches it into one forecast, giving you the rainfall amount and the chance of rain. So if you need to drill down further, I would highly suggest you do that. So next week, all eyes are on the next system coming out of the north. That is the cyclone there. That's another low pressure system nearby. The two are sort of sharing energy. Now that can be a positive because this low will reduce the energy of that low potentially if they merge together. So Monday next week, uh, that is getting very close to us. But just like this weekend, there is a high coming through and it's a race between these two systems. Will the low pressure systems get here first bringing rain and wind or will the high come in first pushing those northwards? So our final map for Tuesday suggests that the high is coming in but maybe further to the South Island which does leave northern New Zealand vulnerable to the cyclone portion of that system to the north. So there's a long way to go just yet. We're not locking anything in. We're just sharing uh, the story of what the models are saying. But New Zealand, the squash zone is appearing on Tuesday. Wind's picking up and there is a chance that we could get that low coming closer to us, but it all depends on that big high. So both this weekend and again next week, high pressure from Tasmania will decide whether or not we get rain in our drought regions. That's all from me. We'll see you again tomorrow with the latest as we track all of these lows that are forming to our north.